Hey everyone, today, I want to talk about something I've been exploring personally, the 30-day dopamine detox. This isn't about deprivation, it's about understanding the powerful neurotransmitter dopamine and how it influences our behavior. It's about reclaiming control over our desires and finding more balance in a world of constant stimulation. Join me as we delve into the science of dopamine, the rationale behind the detox, and the potential benefits it can offer. We'll explore the challenges and triumphs, the science-backed evidence, and the inspiring stories of those who have embarked on this journey. This is an invitation to learn, experiment, and discover a path to a more fulfilling and empowered life. Dopamine is often called the feel-good chemical. It's released in our brains when we experience something pleasurable like eating delicious food or achieving a goal. Dopamine is crucial for motivation, reward, and learning. It drives us to seek out experiences that make us feel good. Think of dopamine as a messenger in your brain. It tells your brain, this feels good, let's do it again. This is how we learn and form habits. The problem arises when we get stuck in a cycle of seeking dopamine from quick fixes. Our brains are wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. This was essential for survival in our evolutionary past, but in today's world, we are bombarded with highly rewarding stimuli. This can lead to overstimulation of the dopamine system. This overstimulation can contribute to addiction, procrastination, and a lack of motivation for less immediately rewarding activities. That's where the dopamine detox comes in. The 30-day dopamine detox is a period of intentional abstinence from activities that trigger large dopamine releases. This includes things like caffeine, alcohol, sugary foods, excessive social media use, and even sex. The goal isn't to completely eliminate these things from your life forever, it's about giving your brain a break from the constant dopamine roller coaster. This allows your reward system to reset and become more sensitive to natural sources of pleasure. By temporarily reducing dopamine spiking activities, you can increase your sensitivity to dopamine, reduce cravings and impulsive behaviors, improve focus and motivation, and experience greater peace and contentment. The detox can be tailored to your individual needs and preferences. You can choose to abstain from all the mentioned activities or focus on a few key areas. The important thing is to be intentional and consistent with your approach. Let's start with caffeine, a staple in many of our lives. Caffeine is a stimulant that blocks adenosine, a neurotransmitter that promotes sleepiness. This makes us feel more alert and focused. However, caffeine also triggers the release of dopamine in the brain. This can lead to a temporary mood boost and increased energy levels. But over time, our brains can become dependent on caffeine to function normally. This dependence can lead to withdrawal symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and irritability when we try to cut back. By reducing or eliminating caffeine during the dopamine detox, you can break this cycle of dependence. This allows your body to regulate its energy levels naturally and reduces the likelihood of experiencing caffeine crashes. You might be surprised by how much more energy you have without relying on caffeine. Section 5. Alcohol's Double-Edged Sword, Pleasure and Depletion Alcohol is another substance that has a complex relationship with dopamine. When consumed, alcohol triggers the release of dopamine in the reward pathway of the brain. This creates feelings of pleasure, relaxation, and euphoria. However, alcohol also disrupts the balance of other neurotransmitters in the brain, including GABA and glutamate. This can lead to a range of negative effects, such as anxiety, depression, and impaired cognitive function. Furthermore, alcohol can deplete dopamine levels in the long run. This can contribute to feelings of low mood, fatigue, and difficulty experiencing pleasure from everyday activities. By abstaining from alcohol during the dopamine detox, you give your brain a chance to recover and restore its natural balance. This can lead to improved mood, better sleep, and increased energy levels. You might also find that you are more resilient to stress and better able to cope with challenging situations. Section 6. Sugar the Sweetest Addiction Sugar is often called the legal drug for a reason. It triggers the release of dopamine in the brain, just like drugs of abuse. When we eat sugary foods, our brains are flooded with dopamine, creating a feeling of intense pleasure. This feeling is short-lived, however, and is often followed by a crash in both blood sugar and mood. This cycle of highs and lows can lead to cravings, overeating, and difficulty controlling sugar intake. 
Excessive sugar consumption has been linked to a range of health problems, including weight gain, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even certain types of cancer. By reducing or eliminating added sugar during the dopamine detox, you can break free from this addictive cycle. This can help to regulate your blood sugar levels, reduce cravings, and improve your overall health and well-being. You might also find that your taste buds become more sensitive, allowing you to appreciate the natural sweetness in whole foods. Section 7. Sex and Dopamine – Seeking Balance, Not Abstinence Sex is a natural and healthy part of life. It triggers the release of dopamine and other feel-good hormones like oxytocin, which promotes bonding and connection. However, like any pleasurable activity, sex can become compulsive and even addictive for some individuals. This is often fueled by the accessibility of pornography and the constant bombardment of sexualized imagery in our culture. The dopamine detox isn't about abstaining from sex altogether. It's about becoming more mindful of your relationship with sex and ensuring that it's a healthy and fulfilling part of your life. During the detox, you might choose to abstain from sex completely or simply reduce the frequency and be more intentional about when and how you engage in it. This can help you to break free from any compulsive behaviors and develop a healthier relationship with sex and intimacy. Section 8. The Science Behind the Detox – Resetting Your Reward System The dopamine detox is rooted in the scientific understanding of neuroplasticity. This refers to the brain's ability to change and adapt throughout life. When we repeatedly engage in activities that trigger large dopamine releases, our brains become less sensitive to dopamine over time. This is known as tolerance. It means that we need more and more of the stimulating substance or activity to achieve the same level of pleasure. This can lead to addiction, compulsive behaviors, and a diminished capacity for experiencing joy from everyday activities. By temporarily abstaining from these activities during the dopamine detox, we give our brains a chance to reset and restore their sensitivity to dopamine. This is like hitting the refresh button on your reward system. Studies have shown that even short periods of abstinence from dopamine spiking activities can lead to significant improvements in mood, focus, and impulse control. This suggests that the dopamine detox can be an effective way to improve our relationship with pleasure and reward. Section 9. My Dopamine Detox Journey – From Cravings to Clarity I'll admit the first few days of my dopamine detox were challenging. I experienced cravings, headaches, and moments of intense boredom. But as the days turned into weeks, something incredible happened. The cravings subsided and I started to notice subtle but profound shifts in my energy levels, focus, and overall sense of well-being. I felt calmer, more centered, and more present in my daily life. My mind felt clearer, and I was able to concentrate on tasks for longer periods without getting distracted. I also found myself experiencing more joy from simple things, like spending time in nature, reading a book, or having a meaningful conversation. It was as if my brain had recalibrated and was able to appreciate the beauty and wonder of the present moment without needing constant external stimulation. Section 10. Life After the Detox – Sustainable Habits for Long-Term Well-Being The dopamine detox isn't a quick fix. It's a springboard for creating sustainable habits that support your long-term well-being. Once you've completed the detox, you can gradually reintroduce the activities you abstain from, but with a renewed sense of awareness and moderation. The goal is to find a balance that allows you to enjoy pleasurable activities without letting them control your life. This might mean setting boundaries around your caffeine and alcohol consumption, being more mindful of your sugar intake, and limiting your exposure to social media and other forms of digital stimulation. It's also important to cultivate healthy coping mechanisms for stress and boredom. This might include exercise, meditation, spending time in nature, pursuing creative endeavors, or connecting with loved ones. Section 11. The Power of Anecdotal Evidence Stories of Transformation I've heard countless stories from people who have experienced profound benefits from doing a dopamine detox. Some have reported significant improvements in their anxiety and depression, while others have found it easier to manage their weight, improve their sleep, or overcome addictive behaviors. One individual shared that the detox helped them to break free from their smartphone addiction. They were able to reduce their screen time significantly and found that they were more present in their relationships and more engaged in their work. Another person shared that the detox helped them to overcome their procrastination habit. 
they were able to finally finish projects they had been putting off for months and felt a renewed sense of motivation and purpose. These stories highlight the transformative potential of the dopamine detox. While more research is needed to fully understand its effects, anecdotal evidence suggests that it can be a powerful tool for improving our mental, emotional, and physical health. Section 12. Your turn, embark on your own dopamine detox adventure. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the constant stimulation of modern life, I encourage you to consider trying a dopamine detox. It's an opportunity to hit the reset button on your brain, reclaim control over your desires and rediscover the simple joys of life. Remember, the detox is a personal journey and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. Listen to your body, be kind to yourself and adjust the detox as needed to fit your individual needs and preferences. Start by identifying the activities that you feel are taking up too much space in your life. Then, choose a time frame for your detox that feels challenging yet achievable. You might start with a weekend, a week, or even a full 30 days. During the detox, be prepared to experience some discomfort. You might feel bored, restless, or even irritable at times. This is normal. Your brain is adjusting to the lack of its usual dopamine hits. Section 13, a final word. It's about progress, not perfection. The dopamine detox isn't about achieving perfection. It's about making progress towards a healthier and more fulfilling life. It's about understanding the powerful forces that shape our behavior and making conscious choices that align with our values. So, if you slip up during your detox, don't beat yourself up about it. Just acknowledge it, learn from it, and get back on track. Remember, every step you take towards a healthier relationship with dopamine is a step in the right direction. Now I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever tried a dopamine detox? What were your experiences? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and support each other on this journey of self-discovery and transformation.